The vote has been unanimous and Josh Harris has been approved as the new owner of the Washington Commanders. The moment to remember for a moment. A new era of Washington football is here. It's time to get to work. This is the greatest sports franchise in the world. We will work tirelessly to make you proud once again of this franchise like my family was when I grew up here. Dan Snyder officially announcing that he is selling the franchise to the group led by Josh Harris. What's the final hurdle? The NFL owners are scheduled to meet again later this month in Minneapolis. Well, Victoria, behind this wall right now, NFL owners are in a meeting. And in that meeting, they're going to vote today to ratify the approval of Josh Harris as the commander's next owner. This is a day that the people in Washington, the fan base of the commanders have waited for for an awful long time. Some people thought they might never see this day, but that day is now upon us. It feels official now with that logo on it. <laughs> no, no, this is... It's really on now. <laughs> Nine months in the making. To NFL Live, and we've got breaking news on the commander's sale, and Adam Schefter is back with us. Adam, what can you tell us? You're sitting here on the eve of a historic vote. You grew up a fan of a team that you're about to own. Has it sunk in yet? It's just sinking in. I mean, nine months in the making. Um, super exciting day for me in terms of going back to my uh, roots. Uh, one of my first memories was walking down East Capitol Street and going to RFK, hearing uh, the applause, if you're hearing the place rumble, uh, being uh, part of uh, Sonny Jurgensen, Billy Kilmer, Joe Theismann, Mark Rippin. This has been an incredible memory machine for me and uh, excited to be back. What do you think of the news? Great. dollars as owners stream out of the room the vote just came down the vote has been unanimous and josh harris has been approved as the new owner of the washington commanders it's a moment to remember forever look i'm a jewish i'm a man of faith uh you know i have a I believe in faith and family and uh, we call it for sure it's meant to be and it's hard for me to imagine this happened by chance um, you're heading uh, right to DC. DC. Yeah. Yep. Right to DC. It's pushing ahead. Go set. Thank Good you. afternoon. Um, as you all are aware, the primary purpose of today's meeting was uh, to uh, approve the transaction of the Washington Commanders. Um, I think you all know uh, that that vote was unanimously uh, taken today and Josh Harris uh, and his impressive ownership group was improved 32-0. Uh, so Josh, congratulations. Thank you. Come on over, we got something for you. Okay, excellent. Commissioner, thank you for allowing us to be partners and stewards in the NFL, and we're excited for your trust, and we will not let you down. I'm confident in that. <laughs> it's where I grew up. I mean, it's where my mom lives, it's where all my friends from high school live, it's, what's, it's you know, who I am. And so uh, we were huge sports fans. My dad was a huge sports fan. He bestowed it on our family. And uh, it was all about the then Redskins and the city was together. Yeah, look, I mean, obviously it's an amazing day for me uh, and very exciting, but uh, I'm, I've had many sleepless nights and I will have many sleepless nights. Like, I'm gonna sweat this. Uh, I feel an awesome sense of responsibility to the city of Washington. I know what I gotta do. Uh, you know, this is uh, incredibly important right now for this city, and I'm going to be remembered for what I do in Washington, and so that's not lost on me. To our team and the incredible fan base in Washington, a new era of Washington football is here. It's time to get to work. Thanks, everyone. To be continued. Thank you, man. Hey, buddy. Congratulations. Thanks. Hello. How wow. are you? It's been a while Congratulations. since Thank you. Yeah, exactly. You know what? I think I would have spent more time, even more time talking to you. Big day, I'd say. Unanimous. It's good to see. Were uh, you in the room when that's happening? Uh, no, they um, bring you in and you say a few words and then the uh, ownership asks questions and then they uh, 
Take you out. You all ready? Yep, everybody's speeding. Mark, you good? Okay. But Josh, first of all, congratulations. This Thank is you. a historic day for you, your group, the city of Washington. I feel like I'm a steward for the city um, and business aside. I mean, obviously, uh, in order to succeed, um, you know, and attract great players, attract fans, you need to run the business effectively. But for me, it's way more than a business. It's much more emotional than that. This is a, a franchise that fans care about, that fans want to be a part of, and that's about winning. And if I could give you a choice of winning a Vince Lombardi trophy, <clears throat> an NBA championship trophy, or a Stanley Cup, what would be your choice? That's like asking, like, which of your fingers do you like best? I'll take them all. Exciting day, very much, but also uh, thinking a lot about all the things that we can do to improve the franchise, and thinking about the fans, and thinking about the team, and. So both emo emotionally exciting, but also uh, you know, I'll, be, I'll be sleepless thinking about what I got to do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lots of luck. Get some rest, I hope. Thank you. <laughs> this has been quite a slog. Yes. Yes. We're going to try to get you to do that quick surprise. Mm -hmm. I think the partying has already commenced, right? Yeah. This is the Navy Yard. What is it called again? Burgundy and Seoul. This is pretty amazing. We've got a caller on the line that okay. I want to get to right now. Josh Harris just called in. The new owner of the Washington <laughs> Commanders is supposedly on the line. Let's go. I'm just leaving the league meeting, and I knew there were a bunch of Washington fans there, and I just wanted to say hello. I want to get back to Washington, my hometown, and celebrate with you guys. And let's get started by me buying everyone in the brewery and in the bullpen a beer. Can I do that? Let's go! Oh, come on. Are you kidding? <laughs> Josh Harris is buying everybody here in the bullpen. Beer. So go on up. There's a lot of people. There's a lot the of folks bullpen. here, sir. There's a lot of people at the brewery right now. Your, your offer still stands. All right, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to dip into my savings, but I, I want everyone <laughs> to have a beer. Let's do it. <laughs> So I'm most looking forward to um, engaging with the fans, uh, beginning to feel the tempo of Washington, to feel what they care about, and, uh, and, and beginning the long process of trying to win on the field. It's a fresh start for so many fans dedicated to the Burgundy and Gold for the long term. This is a fan pep rally that's supposed to start at 1 o'clock, and fans have been lining up since 10.30 this morning. It is already stretched all the way back here, yeah. and fans continue yeah. to show up to yeah. celebrate and kick off this new era for the Washington Commanders. Harris, at least yesterday, seemed to be taking the tone that focusing on just changing the culture here and, and the tenor around the team was the priority. We'll see if we get more details next time. Wow. It's a big day. It's a really big day. Um, I have a few messages for you guys personally from my heart to you all. Uh, before we turn it over to the folks of the hour um, to share their remarks. But uh, I just want to thank you all. Uh, so many of you are new here. I think 80 plus percent of us are new here since I joined three years ago. And what you have done to set the foundation for this moment of remarkable growth and resurgence of this organization cannot be overstated. And I'm very proud of your work. I know you went through a lot in that process. And so my gratitude is here for you, and now we have an exceptional moment to do something really, really special. Yeah, obviously we're gonna leverage um, all of the acumen and knowledge of the ownership group, but at the end of the day, um, what we're gonna do is do this exactly how we've done it in the past with other ownership groups, which is you bring in the best talent, and we may very well have it, we gotta get to know our talent, and they've done a great job, and you bring in the best football people, the best business people, and then you hold them accountable and you give them the resources to succeed and, and make sure it works. For us, all of it uh, starts with, uh, you know, values and trying to impact this city in a positive way. And because everyone watches everything we do, we have incredible power to make a difference. And so we get up every day and we approach it that way that we're on a mission, you know, to make this city better, both in terms of making the fans feel better, but also 
helping people in need, helping communities, helping bring the city together, if we approach it that way, um, then, then, then that's going to impact the city in a positive way and reverberate back positively on all of us. Look, I think this is a, a city that has a lot of diversity in it uh, and a lot of wealth gap, right? And so um, it's the responsibility of um, people like me that have been fortunate in their life to give back and to take care of communities in need. One thing I'm super passionate about is the positive impact that um, our teams have had in the cities that we serve. And I have an ownership group that uh, cares deeply about Washington, and I care deeply about Washington. You know, being that I'm from here, my mom still lives here, and it's where I grew up. When Josh and I first heard that this may come for sale in November, we talked that day and said, there is nothing bigger we can do for the community to grow up in than figuring out if we could um, own this team and turn into what this community deserves. This was not an easy last nine months, as you probably have heard or can imagine. Um, but every time it got hard, what kept us going was this community, this organization, this fan base, frankly, this need deserves a strong Washington commander. It's a world class, a team that everyone can be proud of. We're bringing passion and fire every day. And we're going to expect that from you. I'm big on best in class and excellence. We want to be the best organization in the National Football League, and then we're going to take it a step further in sports. And guess what? That starts with all of you. So stand on up. Stand up. Stand up. If you believe in that, if you're ready to go. Too. You have girls. Girl. You have a twelve-year-old girl and a nine-year-old boy. Oh, so she's thirteen. Yep. Just yep. turned thirteen. Dad, you're getting some good comments on Instagram. Ah. <laughs> I love it. It's all about football, man. We just want to. Uh, that's like our number one priority. We just want to support what you're doing and uh, add and like you know figure out how to win. Right? I know it's hard. Yeah. Uh, here's Jonathan. Oh, hey. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yeah. I mean, it's one thing for I mean, that's where the professionalism comes in. You, know, you want guys who can really separate inside of football, but I mean, when you get asked about it constantly, it's, yeah. so it's always in the back of your head. So it's good to actually have the fans back on our side. You know I mean? Yeah, well, look, we just want to support you guys. And that's my mind. And obviously, you win, we win. I'm just ecstatic. I'm happy. The commanders. We back up, back up baby. you know, new life. new life, we back up. That hope that was taken from us from all those years, it's back. We have that hope back to be winners. Now we can go in the season with hope knowing that we can win. This is a passionate fan base, they care. Um, it stretches all over the DMV. Uh, politics touches everyone, the, the beltway, but um, like I said, I mean, I think uh, the unity in the city was sports. Get your program here. Let's get program here. The Commanders had a deep history that was rich. You know, one of the early teams from the NFL. And my first memory of Washington football was walking down East Capitol Street, walking into RFK Stadium, hearing the rumble of the fans, the stomping in the stands, and then. My favorite early memory has to be uh, John Riggins going around the end in that first Super Bowl and uh, breaking that tackle with the, those arm hanging on him from the Dolphins and a Super Bowl victory. I feel a great sense of responsibility to, uh, to win and to bring that feeling back of, wow, this is a super cool experience. You know, I want to be in the stadium. I want to experience this. I want to be part of this fabric, and it, it, it has an incredible effect on a very important city. Great. Table by Thank table, you. if you guys don't mind, can, you, can we do that? The exciting film you're about to see was made possible by the company that has brought you the Redskin games on television and radio since 1941. Now, Jim, let's watch the Redskins. Touchdown, Washington Redskins! I don't believe it! Since marks from 2005 to 2014. Doc Walker, 1982 eternity. <laughs> Everyone finally got their act together, and the fun bunch was born. Daryl Green, 20 years. <laughs> two, two, old buddy. Make you run fast. Mark Mosley, uh, 74 to 86. MVP. It's good. Mark Mosley has broken the National Football League. We are so excited, and I'm so excited personally, obviously, having grown up here, right here in Chevy Chase, and been around when at least some of you were here. But I was here during, uh, and Joe, there's Joe Gibbs over there. Joe, thank you for being here. And I want you to know that each one of you has a small piece of this trophy today. I, I, I just want you guys to know, this is really accurate. You and I were part of really building something. It was a salute to a team second to none. And the sounds of success rang from the Chesapeake Bay to the Shenandoah. Yeah, I felt that I had this calling to get involved and to you know, try to help this franchise be what it used to be. Experiencing what you've heard everyone talk about, how much this meant to us as little boys. We said, um, if we can do this, It'll be the single most important thing we do in our lives. Even though we're all busy, and boy, it's going to be expensive, and I unfortunately... <laughs> <laughs> the, the worst part of my day today was releasing the wire I've never seen. <laughs> I might need to borrow some money from some of you guys. Now it's all about, like Josh said, how do we pay it forward, and how do we rebuild a community that's really special. You know, obviously this is where we could massively use your help because you all are who you are. You are the Washington Commanders. Doug Williams will be back in. You better bet on that because Doug Williams is a competitor. The Redskins didn't simply enter the history book Sunday night. They rewrote a lot of great things we could be doing, and the best one is kicking their ass. So our job and what we think we need to do 
is to reconnect with the city, reconnect with the fans. Obviously, you're going to be a big part of that, which is why you know I'm so appreciative of you being here. And reconnect and make this franchise something that we all and the city can be proud of once again. And it can be like when I was growing up. Let's let's do this. Let's do this together. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you for everything. Congratulations, Marty Davis. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hey, Josh Wilson, nice to have you. Tell your kids you get to do. I got to, I used to. So I'm from Upper Marlboro nice and Peter County. Went to the math in Maryland. And I got the. I used to work in the stands here. And when I signed here, I got the free agent. I was like, man, this is like the greatest thing ever. And then look at what you did. Like you just did the greatest thing ever. You owned the team. Yeah, man, so cool, right? grew up watching. Like yeah, no, it's a, it's like a childhood thing, right? <laughs> like, it's a, It's the village, man. You gotta all do it, right? You got to do it. I like where you are. Obviously, it falls in players, hopefully, but like they need to feel supported, right? They need to feel I agree with you, sir. Starts at the top. Starts at the top. Yeah. Emily, how would you like to Well, I'm glad, I'm glad we're on this journey together, man. Thank you. Thanks again. Seriously, it's not going to be easy. Welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. It is really a momentous moment. Things are shifting today. Um, it's an exciting day for the Commander's franchise. It's an exciting day for the nation's capital. It's an exciting day for the most loyal and rabid fan base in the NFL. And um, we're going to lean into that excitement. Today took an immense amount of work from a lot of people. Like, I'm not going to be able to mention everyone, uh, but I need to mention the accomplished group of partners that we've put together. It's a group that's diverse, and that's on purpose. Of course, none of this would have been possible at all without my mom, Sylvia Harris, right there. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> to really build this again from the bottom up, the right way, by engaging everybody in a passionate, inspiring way, and we're gonna need the help from everybody here. Not just us, we can't do it on our own. We're gonna work our butts off, but we need everybody to rally to the occasion. What's happening, D.C.? the greatest sports franchise in the world. Wait. With the greatest fan base in the world. To the Commanders fans, our promise to you is straightforward. We will work tirelessly to make you proud once again of this franchise like my family was when I grew up here. This is not going to be easy. My job is to deliver an organization that can win. It's on me and it's on us up here. Our work begins today, and I'm so excited to be on this journey together with the city. Thank you all. Awesome. 
training camp is lively. It is epic. Uh, the vibes are the highest I've really ever seen at a training camp. There are screaming fans, there's kids, there's autographs, there's all this going on. And it's, it's hot, it's not easy to get to. These are the diehard fans who have come back to this team embracing what they're all about and looking into the future. But also, I noticed really in the present moment, we're enjoying this, I'm hearing. We deserve this.